First topic to talk about is regarding Drake and Lil Yachty and academics. So academics broke the news the other day that Drake's Super Soaker, um, or Super Soak, sorry, SOS, the song, is going to be coming out, I think this week, I'm assuming. But unfortunately, it won't have a Lil Yachty verse. That song that I think um, the original guy who they sampled the song from didn't like the song that was leaked because it had too much profanity in it. And this kid allegedly is, some, is on some like born again Christian vibe. So in order to clear the sample, he wanted those guys to re-record their vocals. Well, I guess somewhere in between that, Lil Yachty got dropped off of the record. Now, there's been suggestions online that Lil Yachty had unfollowed Drake and some beef was happening. I don't think that's the case. I would assume this is just like, you know, record industry shit. Um, and maybe yeah, he's maybe being punished. I wouldn't say being punished, but maybe he's having some consequences for intentionally leaking the record and admitting it. I don't know. I, I, I don't think intentionally leaking the record is probably an issue. Maybe the way he admitted it on Fragrant might have put, you know, um, put him in some hot ball, put him in some hot water. Who knows? Or maybe after the fact, Drake recorded the song and just thought, you know what? I just sound better on it myself, which I think he did anyway, to be completely honest. So that's coming out. The thing that I'm concerned about, the thing that I'm concerned about and that I don't like, I have to be honest, is this friendship between Drake and academics. I don't like it in the slightest. I really don't. The reason why I don't like it is because as much as I like academics as a live streamer, and I think he's a great content creator and I'm a fan of his streams and shit and he's come up, I think it's without question and without you know being mean that the kid is incredibly dorky. He's incredibly lame. And I feel like for Drake, for some reason, people look at him the same way. And I'm not too sure why, because I think he's just as corny and lame as any other rapper out there. They've all got their fucking parts about them. But I guess maybe because Drake tries too hard to be cool, people look at him that way. But whatever the reason, or maybe because he's, he's Canadian, who bloody knows. Either way, I don't think the academic's friendship or the pillow talking is making Drake look good. And I think, forget all that stuff, forget my aesthetic cool guy nonsense i just think in terms of dropping songs and tunes i just want drake to just drop surprise tunes as he used to do in the past in the past he just dropped something on over your radio like you know um what you call it what's his name oliver would be doing a mix and he'd include a couple of tracks in there that were soon to be released or maybe not to be released maybe they'll jump maybe they'll put them up on fucking soundcloud bloody blah 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 or you'd get it some other way but I don't like how nowadays the way that we're finding out about these records is through academics. I really don't like that academics is the one telling us about these records. I feel like it takes away from the impact that it could have if it dropped by a surprise. It takes away from any type of cool factor because academics is inherently lame. I don't know. I just don't like it in the slightest. But this is the clip where academics during his live stream talks about Drake taking off Little Yatty and having the song for himself. And obviously, and there's also a video too. So it looks like Drake thinks or believes in this song a lot. Uh, maybe because it performed well when it got leaked in the first place. But there's also a music video planned for Super Soak as well. So let's play the clip where Academic says Drake is going to follow through and release it. Super Soak. I heard it's coming out. I heard it's coming out, people, with a music video. Now, there's some interesting shit going on here. I hear that. I hear that. I hear the, the, the Super Soak track is coming out. Music video included. One caveat. There's no little Yachty on it, which that's a little confusing to me, but it is what it is. Only confusing because it was Yachty's song initially. Drake sent that to Yachty for it to be on Yachty's concrete project. Yachty said, look, oh, there we go. There we go. It, oh, there we go. The only thing I'm confused about, the only thing I'm confused about, Academic says it was Drake's song originally that was going to appear on Yachty's concrete album. I guess the, the concrete mixtape that came out just recently. But the only thing I'm concerned about, confused about when it comes to this, is that it sounds like it was one of those things where it was Drake's record, but he gives records away. Allegedly, that's what he does quite often. If you like somebody and he thinks you're popping or whatever, he'll just give you the tune. So he'll just give you the song and basically you just you add your verse to it as opposed to the other way around. But maybe this is different. Maybe maybe that, maybe that this is why Lil Yachty got taken from the song. Because technically, it's not his song. Even though Drake gave him the song to him to put on his album, it started off being Drake's song first. Then he wanted to feature Yatty. Then Yatty took it. He was like, you know what? You might as well keep it for your song and feature me. So technically, it's still Drake's song. So that doesn't really make any sense. Either way, I just would much rather, as a avid Drake fan, I just would much rather see Drake drop these records without the assistance of academics, personally. That's what I'd like to see. But I also understand industry-wise, business-wise, it's probably important to have someone like Ak in your corner. 
especially now there's a media like who else is he going to talk to who else is sorry who else is um drake going to confide in or like drop these bits of information to so he can proliferate all over the net he's not gonna talk to ebro right he's not gonna talk to fucking charlemagne and shit so i get he's you know academics is the best of what's available really and truly the rest of the guys are a bit corny or a bit lame or he doesn't really have much relationship with them or if the, or, or if he drops it with them he won't really go nowhere so i get why he chooses um, academics i just think I'd prefer it if it was song, if it was a, uh, if it was like an announcement or if it was a release of music. I'd much prefer not know it's going to be released, especially when it's Drake. I just, you know, I remember fondly those of your radio moments being so impactful and so cool. And, you know, listening to an entire mix for a couple of hours or a radio show, and then suddenly some like new record drops. You're like, oh shit, it's new Magic Dojan. Oh shit, it's new PND. You know what I mean, all this stuff was really important, but I guess nowadays things kind of change. And you have to move with the times, but I just would much rather see Drake just drop records himself um, and, they, you know, premiere them on his fucking live stream if he has to, as opposed to hand them to, to academics. I feel like it takes away some of the oomph. And it also feels, for lack of a better term, it kind of always feels like he's, tr maybe that, that is the case. It feels as if, like, he's trying to rewrite the narrative out there because of the loss against Kendrick. It almost feels like he's feeding academics this information to kind of remind people, oh, I'm still alive, oh, I'm still doing good, oh, I'm still up, oh, I'm still this guy. Which I don't, which may not be the case. I may be really into it, but I think even that angle is a bit lame, you know. But again, what do I know? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing.